This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by We Use Coins. I'm standing here with Renee from Keen, uh, and uh, Renee's in an unusual position because, well, you are in an unusual position because you can talk to me a little bit about the right to record in schools at Keene High School. You go to Keene High School. Yes, I do. And, uh, of course, I, you know, we talked a little bit about this before. You may suffer some type of retaliation for being in this video and talking about this subject, but what you, you decided that that's not a problem and you're willing to, to face that, possibly. Come at me. <laughs> okay, well, they may. <laughs> uh, the um, question I have for you is what exactly happens if somebody wants to record something in your school? If you want to exercise your First Amendment right to run a video recorder, uh, you know, audio, video, audio recorder, what happens to you? Usually they don't talk or they'll try to like block it out. So, um, you, you don't get much of a, you don't get a positive response usually. You get, and if you, if you do have some sort of video, they'll try and get you to delete it, wh whatever it may be. Have they ever actually succeeded in making you delete any videos? No, because usually, usually mine don't go anywhere. So, um, I, I've, I've pretty much given up on that. Plus, there's n never really any action for me, so. Um, you said you had an incident once where you attempted to film a uh, military recruiting desk at your school, right? Yes. And what happened then? Um, he, first I, I walked up and I said, hey, why can't we have a counter recruiting table if you're so confident in your ideas, then what's the problem? And he's like, well, I, wait, are you recording? And I'm like, yes, I am, and this will be published. And he said, I'm sorry, I can't be recorded, and tried to like put, like, tried to like hit it and like make it go down. And I said, no, 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 no. And he said, then you need to stop filming me. And I'm like, no, this is going on the record. And then he just sat there silently. Then what did what did your beer, the, the educrats do while that was going on? Um, they just turned the other way because they know dealing with me isn't fun. So. <laughs> okay. So, so you've never had a case where you you've had you know a, a camera ripped out of your hand by the authorities at the school and they've never they've never deleted any of your video. No. Okay. Well, it's a start. You know, I mean, it could be worse. You mm -hmm. know, they, at least they're not assaulting you over it. It could be much um, worse. Yeah. Um, and now knock is way worse about it. Well, this this is, is the name of a website. Our okay, do you have, do you get approval from the superintendent's office to be here? Because that's what needs to happen according to school board policy. So you tried to film at Manadnock too? Um, from time to time, yes. Um, and you can see like in the high school outreaches um, from, from freaking uh, at Manadnock, they try and like block the camera and block the kids who are like usually like happy to talk until they were told to do otherwise by the higher ups. Right. So. Well, now, um, you have, what, this is your senior year? Um, yeah. Uh, and, um, I, I mean, have you thought about the, 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 the possibility that actually the video you shot was probably pretty interesting? Like, if, if you had been, if you had sent me everything you shot in that school of them refusing to speak, I would have archived it and put it on the Ridley Report. It was sophomore <laughs> year, I didn't think. I can do it again, I don't care. I'll do it. Well, I'm not going to ask you to. If you were to get video in there, though, um, and you send it to me, I will archive it. All right. And that means it might, you know, appear as file video on the Ridley Report. The way I look at it, every piece of video that comes out from the inside of the school is golden because most, you know, journalists are not allowed in there, especially Liberty journalists. Well, you can have tons of video because I do all sorts of crazy stuff in there. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, like I said, you're too young for me to egg on. <laughs> you know, it's no a, such it, thing, it, arbitrary. <laughs> right. I'm not going to egg you on to go do anything. But yeah, if as long as you're getting video, I will tell you that it is of great interest and value. Anything that comes out of of, of a government school, even if it's just someone refusing to talk. All right, sir. Then we mm -hmm. have a deal. Because right. you don't have to egg me on. Believe me. Okay. All right, and you, uh, you were telling me you discovered uh, the Free Keeners because of a, of a party at the gazebo that was busted by the police, right? Live for your dance, son. Thank you. Hey, thank you for getting this one off the street. We really, we really fucking appreciate it. You really got one. It's at the very beginning of uh, Derek J's victimless crime spree. Plug in that right now. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, there was a small dance party at the common. I'd brought some of my uh, lights and. Um, this cop showed up and they started harassing us and at this point I was scared because I thought I'm getting arrested and I didn't know anything mm -hmm. but everyone else around me seemed to know what they were talking about they pulled out their phone cameras and um, 
<laughs> they just weren't taking any crap. So um, I felt a little safer, but then once uh, Michael Kopcha started to arrest Derek and wrestled him to the ground, everyone was screaming, and it was crazy. I, I was just like crying, I was a mess, I didn't know what to do. And this Derek was really cool, I just met him that night. and. Um, I caught up with him at a free speech Friday later, and um, we continued to talk. And then, when well, you had you had rescued some of the equipment that night, that it yes, first uh, yes, happened. yes, yes, and I um, mm. I handed it off to a free stater, and um, he thanked me because they were nice people. They didn't do anything. So all right, well, I thank you too. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, Renee, and uh, you know that you're taking you know as many risks as I am because you're still in the system. Might as well. Yeah. All right. Thanks. No problem. Are you in favor of this? Then why do you use this? Instead, maybe you should use this. Spending a government's currency does more than anything else to prop up that government. Please starve the monster by using other currencies when you can. The most exciting of these is Bitcoin, the currency of peace. Inflation resistant, it's the easiest money to send and receive over the web. Get started at WeUseCoins.com.